Hello, we're here today to talk about breast cancer risk and alcohol. My name is Andrea Dannenberg and I'm a volunteer with BCPP. Hi Andrea and everybody out there. Uh, I'm Shereen Marasanayagam and I am the Director of Science at Breast Cancer Prevention Partners. So my first question for Sharima is a doozy. Does drinking alcohol cause breast cancer? All right, well, for one thing, I never say that something causes breast cancer. I will say, unfortunately, uh, drinking alcohol does increase your risk of a breast cancer diagnosis. There's a really large body of evidence and multiple studies showing that women who drink alcohol are more likely to be diagnosed with breast cancer than those who do not, and that the more you drink, the higher your risk. Um, the good news is that any reduction in alcohol consumption reduces your risk of breast cancer. But as I say, I, the reason I don't ever say that something causes breast cancer is that breast cancer is what we call a multifactorial disease. There's no single thing that causes any cancer and uh, really important that nobody blames themselves for their own cancer diagnosis. So there are lots of risk factors that add up that can result in a diagnosis. And these can include genetics and family history, um, diet and exercise, um, environment and environmental exposures linked to the disease. Um, and then some of these are totally out of our control. Uh, some we can make individuals decisions about and some we need to work collectively to address, which is something that BCPP really focuses on. Great. Well, thank you for that explanation. That's really helpful. Um, can you give us a very um, layman's explanation of why drinking alcohol increases breast cancer risk? Well, um, so what we've seen is associations between drinking alcohol and, and increased uh, rates of uh, breast cancer. And what we a lot of research has gone into what might be these mechanisms. And there's a few that have really come to the fore. First of all, when we drink alcohol, our body breaks it down into what's called metabolites. And the main one is uh, acetaldehyde. And uh, that is actually a carcinogen, um, which is a chemical that is known to cause cancer. So uh, it's these toxic metabolites of alcohol are a real issue. Um, the other thing specifically for breast cancer is that um, drinking alcohol also increases uh, a woman's estrogen levels in their body. Um, and we know that higher levels of estrogen have been linked to increased risk of breast cancer, particularly um, uh, estrogen receptor positive breast cancers. Um, and then there's a, a little bit, uh, there is some concern over uh, folate levels because when you drink alcohol, um, you're, it's more difficult for your body to absorb folates from, from your diet, like leafy green vegetables and stuff. And where there's emerging evidence that that may also be uh, linked to increased cancer risk. Wow, so that's pretty complicated, but I'm glad that you can yeah. break it down for us into uh, yeah. a little bit more understandable uh, language. Uh, what can women do to reduce their alcohol-related breast cancer risk? Um, well, you can reduce your intake of alcohol. Um, the less you drink, and it's been shown that the less you drink, the lower your risk. Um, there are emerging research looking at uh, binge drinking and seeing that that might be even worse than, than regular drinking, but uh, as much as you can do to minimize your intake of alcohol, that will decrease your alcohol-related risk of breast cancer and, okay. and a bunch of other uh, health effects. Okay, so knowing what you know about alcohol and breast cancer risk, do you drink alcohol? I do, but very occasionally. And I must admit, since, doing, since starting in this job and seeing the information on alcohol, I have really reduced my intake. Um, of alcohol. I do not drink now regularly or, or normally, um, but I still do have a glass of wine on a very special occasion. So. Great. Well, thank you so much for sharing your knowledge with us today and uh, addressing this really important topic. Thank you, Andrea. Yep.